So let's jump right in. So after you've got Unity, um, it will detect if it's a Mac or Windows. You can you can do it for both of them. Uh, what will happen is you'll have the uh, Unity icon down here, or if you go on your Mac and just do a search on the top right, you can look for Unity. And Windows, it will obviously be in the Start menu, and then you can click on the uh, on the .exe file in there. So I'm clicking on the Unity icon. First thing it'll do, ask me to uh, basically build a project or open a new project. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new project. So let's create a new project. And I'm going to set the location for this project. So I'm going to build a new folder. Same as in Windows, but, uh, you know, building a new folder and then same, uh, the same on the Mac as well. So we're going to call this Pong style game. So that's set in a folder and we're going to name the project Pong style game as well. Okay, I'm going to create the project. Oh, by the way, for the sake of the tutorial, using the word Pong is okay, but don't try to publish a game with Pong in it because Atari owns the rights to the words Pong. Um, and I actually made that mistake a few weeks ago, so uh, don't do that. They, they own it. So uh, anyway, so I'm just going to check my steps here, and I'm also um, because these uh, these videos I have to keep within 15 minute segments, so I just want to make sure that I'm not going over too far. So this video is pretty short, and then obviously part two I'll, I'll put online later as well. So uh, first thing is, let's see. So we've done a we've built a new project. We've set up the folder. So we're going to set the screen size. Now this is the main game screen here. This is what you will see as if it was playing on an iPhone, an Android, or if it was playing on a web player like Chrome or Internet Explorer. Okay, This is the game scene here on the left, and I'm going to come more into this in a moment. Uh, but I'm not going to explain all of the, the layout or, or all of the menu systems right now. I just want you to follow along, and then you'll pick up things as you go. Okay, so first thing is we're going to set this screen size to be more like a mobile screen size, because that's really what this, this, um, this is all about, building mobile games. So if you go to File, Build Settings, and then I believe it's Player Settings. Oh yeah, sorry, what we've got to do first on the left-hand side is select, select it, set it to a web player. So click on Web Player, and then Switch Platform. And what this will do is it'll set it up for a web playing game, which is the type of game that can be loaded into a, a web browser, like Chrome or Internet Explorer. Okay, So we can close that for now. And on the right here, if you click on, uh, you've got icon, and then if you click on resolution and presentation, we're going to set this to 320 wide by 640 high. Okay, tap enter. And then in the top of the, the game view here, go down to web. Three twenty by sorry, three twenty by four eighty. Sorry, I got that wrong. Three twenty by four eighty. Okay, and there you can there you see that's the basic resolution size of a, a an iPhone three G device, I believe. But also for uh, an iPhone four is actually larger, but it gets it, uh, Unity and resizes it. So don't worry that it's not exactly the same resolution as an iPhone four. That will get handled. Okay. So we set the project as a web project, which is what we did here. We basically went to File, Build Settings, Web Player, and then we clicked on Switch Platform. So that's set up for us. OK, so let's get this cube in game, which is basically going to be the paddle at the bottom of the game, which can move left and right. So the first thing that we need to do is go into Game Objects, create another one, and we're going to get a cube. OK, and there we go. So um, in this left-hand side of the scene here, this is basically the game scene. This is how all the objects are laid out inside of the game world. Now, we're going to be building a 2D game, um, but still Unity works in a 3D environment, so you can move objects back and forth in, in all three dimensions. So this is on the left-hand side here, this is where you'll basically um, put all of your game objects, things like the paddle, the balls, the backgrounds, um, any kind of like effects or particle effects like uh, say sparks, something like that, you can have these all in here. And then this is what you'll actually see in the game view as if it was on the actual device, okay? So if you tap on, uh, if you tap on cube, what we do is, um, is we want to move this down to the bottom slightly. Whenever we put something in the scene, it actually appears in the hierarchy pane here as well. So as you can see, when I, when I actually click on cube here, it selects the cube here on the left-hand side. 
So what we're going to do is tap on the cube and then tap on W, which allows you to move it up and down. Okay, so we're just going to put that at the bottom there. Don't worry if it's not in the perfect spot right now. We're going to we'll move it later if we need to. So I'm going to move this slightly higher because we want to allow the player's thumb or finger to be able to move at the bottom of the device if it was on a mobile device. And then tap on R, and what that will do is it allow you to scale up and down. So you can see as I'm as I'm all I'm doing is just holding these uh, how do you say these guides uh, on the left and right? Sorry, on the top part and on the right part of the cube. And all I'm doing is just dragging up and down. So if I do that on the right, okay. So there you go. That's kind of a pong style paddle, I suppose. Um, we're old school right now. We're not. We're not doing anything fancy at all, which is the whole point of this. We want to make it simple and easy to get going. Okay, so uh, the next thing is, I believe, was actually sorting out the camera. Okay, so what we said, what I said before, is this is two. This is basically two D gaming for mobile. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that the camera is looking at, uh, uh, is making the world two D. So everything is flat. There's no perspective. There's no distance. And what we do is, you just click on the main camera here in the hierarchy, and then go to projection and change it to orthographic. Okay. Now, you can probably see there it's made the, the paddle extremely small, extremely small. So what we want to do is just reduce the size here. And what I'm doing here to reduce the size is I'm just left dragging. I'm just holding down on this size uh, sort of area here, holding down on the mouse pad or, or the left mouse click on, on a, if you have a mouse, and just dragging left and right. So I think, I think that should be okay. Right there, that should be fine. Okay. Now, if I want to see this in the in the scene, what you can do to zoom in and out is actually uh, uh, use the middle mouse button, the middle mouse wheel, sorry, uh, to to scroll in and out. And then, if you hit Control on the uh, on the Mac, and then also left mouse click and move, you can rotate around. So I've just clicked on the wrong thing. If I click off the the cube there. And there we go. That's actually moving around the scene now. Okay, so that was on the on the Mac. I'm actually clicking Alt, sorry, and then left mouse holding down, and then moving the mouse around. I'm actually trying to think through this carefully because I'm using a mouse pad here. I'm not using the the mouse at the moment, so it's a little bit strange to explain how to do that. Okay, uh, if you're on a PC, what you'll also do is click Alt and then left mouse click and then move around to to move the camera around the scene. Okay, so we can see there we've got a paddle. Okay, so the next thing is we just want to shift this paddle into the zero. Uh, we want to move it forward slightly. Okay, we want to keep all of the paddle and the balls on the uh, on the Z plane on in uh, on the zero on the Z plane, because what that is is it will keep everything on the same level, so that we know that the ball is going to hit the paddle and it's not going to be behind it or in front of it. Uh, so remember, this is a three D world, so we do have X, Y, and Z, and Z is basically the point uh, the the axis that goes straight down the camera. Okay, so we want to move this to a zero zero point on the z-axis so that everything falls in line with that. And then we can have the background behind that. And then if we want to have any UI sort of menus or score, we can put it in front of that if we want to. So all you do is just go up here uh, and then click on Z, click zero, and then enter. Okay, and then that seems to be about right. That's a good size. Uh, remember in the main camera view what you can do is if you want to change the size just drag left and right so I think if we set this to 7 yeah that should, that's, that'll be okay alright and then the last point that we're going to do um, is basically have this running in a web view so I'm just checking my points there so this is so you can actually see it playing and you can, you can get it running and deployed so when I say deploy, what I mean is the Unity will build the game and then put that onto um, onto a web browser where you can actually see it running. So the first thing is go to File and then Build Settings, and then if we click on Build, it wants to it wants us to tell it um, to give it a folder of where it's going to make the build, where it's going to make the file that it that it will build. So I'm going to get a new folder. I'm going to type I'm gonna name that Build. And I'm going to name the build Pong Style Game. 
I'm going to click save and it'll only need to build one player, uh, sorry, only need to build one level. And there you can see actually uh, in the Mac it produces, a, it creates a, a finder window and then shows me that I've made an HTML file with the uh, the Unity 3D file, which is basically the file that it that it deploys, that is created from the web Unity 3D project. Excuse me. And so I'm just going to close that. And now how to get it into a web player is on the Mac if I hit Command and B, or if on the PC you hit Control and B, it will automatically build it and then play it. So I'm going to go over to Chrome because it didn't pop up. But there you go. So this is the game running in Chrome right now. Um, and once you finish the game, that is how this, this is how you'd basically see it. It would be on a website, uh, for example, on Congregate or Facebook or something like this, and then it would be loaded into the into the player and uh, sorry into the into the web page, and you can play it. Uh, obviously, there's nothing to see right now. We've not put any functionality. We've just got a paddle and a background and the screen size. Um, but that's that's basically the process of of getting the game uh, sort of the project set up and then having it deployed into a, a web player. So that's pretty much it for this first video, everyone. Um, you know, I just wanted to keep it real simple, but obviously let you guys just follow along without worrying too much about what all of these buttons and all of this code does. So don't worry if you don't understand anything right now. Just keep following along and you'll pick up stuff as you go along. Uh, and as you learn more and more things, you'll be able to simply apply that to different parts of the game and try to experiment yourself and uh, you know, see what you come up with. Uh, that's the way I did it, and that's hopefully the way you guys will do it as well. So uh, anyway, for now, I will join you in part two where I'll be explaining a little bit more, and we'll start moving the paddle along, and we'll also start putting a ball in the scene as well, and also introducing stuff, putting up some walls so that the ball stays within the arena. So anyway, but for now, take care, everyone, and I will speak to you soon.